That was so fucking cool. What's up guys? Today I'm back with a new fresh thick long ass fucking video. I sounded way too hyper there. Sorry. But today we're gonna be doing following wiki how tutorials today. So I know I'm a bit late for this trend, but who cares? You can go hit me all you want. But yeah, let's get right into it before I stop recording and lay back in my bed and play Minecraft all day. Oh, sh Okay, so now that we're on WikiHow, let's see what we can search up this time because, uh, I don't know what to search up, but whatever comes up in my mind gets on the keyboard and gets on the computer, and now we'll be getting onto the video. Okay? Uh, so let's type in... Okay. How to be Filipino. Because that's really what I am. Filipino. I'm full Filipino. Like, I'm basically... From there, I'm 100% Filipino. I'm, like, full-blooded to, like, it's in my blood to be Filipino. Like, I know, like, half of their history. Like, bitch, if you need Filipino advice, come to me or come to your friend that is Filipino or that is half. Because... Okay, just, okay. Found... Okay, this is, like, fine. But, like, what the f fuck... Wait, wait. Hold up. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, let's... Do All these are, like, how to understand their culture. I'm like, I know their culture already. Like, I'm already... Their culture already. Okay. Let's do how to understand Filipino culture. Because that sounds very interesting. Has 37,000 views. So... Yeah, let's go. It also has a description, so let's read it. <clears throat> what? <laughs> With an incredible diversity in climate, food, language, and people, the Philippines is home to a growing and vibrant culture that is quickly spreading throughout the world. For many people, however, Filipino body language, food, manners look confusing at first glance. But by learning customs and pra practices from the Philippines, you too can also become immersed in one of the most unique cultures in Asia. Very interesting. Okay. How to eat traditional Fili Filipino cuisine. Visiting Filipino restaurants. Cuisine is known for bold combination of sweet, sour, and salty flavors. Thanks to the country's history of Spanish colonization, Chinese immigration, and a diversity of climates among the islands, search around your local community for Filipino restaurants. Now, we don't have a lot of Filipino restaurants in Dublin, which sucks. We only have one, and it's called Makati Avenue. It's in the like, city center, but it sucks that we don't have enough Filipino restaurants. Like, all we have is Chinese takeouts, Indian takeouts, Thai takeouts. But I feel like we need more appreciation of other Southeast Asian or other cuisines around the world because I feel like we're just focusing on more bigger countries cuisines rather than underrated cuisines if you know what I'm saying but yeah we have we have many Filipino stores and many Asian stores around the country but yeah I feel like they need to appreciate more of the underrated cuisines such as Filipino cuisine search for Filipino barbecues pork is a really popular dish in the Philippines because we love that pork, we love that lechon, we love that kawali bit. Hallmark of Filipino food is serving an entire roasted pig called lechon, which is what I said earlier, during large gatherings. And Filipino barbecues are no exception. No, they are not. They're not. Mind your table manners when visiting Filipino restaurants or homes. Okay. Although many Filipino families use forks and spoons, Filipino restaurants serve your food with an entirely different set of utensils. We don't use forks and knives. We don't use chopsticks, we don't use spoons, we don't use- Well, we use our hands, it's called kamai. Kamayan, it's like you eat with your hands. Which is what my parents and I do sometimes, but we mainly use that for like, stuff that we need to eat with our hands. Don't expect forks. Most Filipino food can be served and eaten with only spoons and forks. If no utensils are given, you can eat with your hands. That's what you do. That's it. However, avoid eating with your left hand as this practice is considered unsanitary in some Filipino communities. Now, I think this is, I think the reason why they're saying that eating with your left hand is unsanitary because we Filipinos don't use toilet paper. That is very shocking to some of you guys, I don't know. But yeah, I don't use toilet paper. Only if I need to wipe the toilet bowl. Only if I wipe my ass, which is 
very rarely that's in public but not home i have a taboo a, ta a taboo at home it's like a bucket and i have that, that's the bucket and then i have it's filled with water and then you get like a like a cup which is like a really big base it's like a basin but like big it's like a big tub i'll show you pictures in the video but it's a big like holder you put with water that's called a tabo you i don't know how you do it but you get soap you got that tabo pick up the water start cleaning your ass because we filipinos like hygiene a lot we focus a lot on hygiene it's very weird but very cool once you get to learn it but yeah i shouldn't have said that <laughs> meals served on banana leaves such as curries or rice yes we have curries can be eaten with your fingers roll the food between your fingers dip the food in well, dip the food in a sauce served to you and eat be prepared to eat with chopsticks if your meal uses recipes influenced by chinese cuisine yes filipinos do eat with chopsticks but sadly i don't have the talent to which is very sad i've been trying since fourth grade yes i say grade i don't say class you know what i should say class but yeah Discover popular or traditional recipes originating from the Philippines. Search online or cookbooks for Filipino recipes to try out for yourself. Here are some common Filipino dishes. Adobo or a cooked meat with the grilled in salt, vinegar, garlic, and peppers. Now, we Filipinos love garlic. I think I've said that before in a video a while back when I tried the Asian snacks. Um, but yeah, another dish is sinigang or a soup filled with fish, prawns, pork, and assorted vegetables, or lechon, my favorite of all. I love their, I love crispy skin, especially on lechon. Or an entirely cooked pig that is spit roasted over a fire. It's like a freaking barbecue body. It's kind of disgusting. No shit. So I decided not to complete the how to understand Filipino culture thing because it was like way too long and I have a limit on iMovie. Uh, which is up to 15 minutes, no, 15 minutes in total. So, yeah, I have to, like, I can't go past the 15 minute mark or else. It won't let me upload to YouTube, which is a very bad thing, because it's supposed to upload to YouTube, dude. <laughs> okay, um, but the next topic we're gonna be talking about is how to be nice. This is gonna go really well, I hope, but yeah, that's us read it. Being nice is often easier said than done. Getting through the day can be hard enough without having to go out of your way to smile at strangers and say please and thank you. Why do it? Do so because being nice makes people feel good and paves the way for good relationships. If that's not enough, consider it that it also helps you get you what you want. People will be more inclined to help you if you're more nice to them. Read on to learn how to start being nice. Be nice in everyday ways. Smile and be positive. Okay, I'm gonna sm okay, I'm gonna try smile reading the the whole the whole paragraph and let's just hope i don't fail or something three two one smile and be positive being positive will help you stay happy even if you are having a bad day a smile can improve your outlook and makes you think of you as a confident and happy person smiling at people also helps you positive they will feel good about themselves. Besides, nobody likes a person who wears them with their own problems. And that was like really hard. Yeah, let's read the next like thing. Paragraph. Okay. Acknowledge other people. That's this is like too long. I don't want to read that. That's also too long. <laughs> yeah, just be good listening and all that. Um, it's also long. Yeah, let's just not do this. Oh wait, it tells you how to smile. Smile when you pass people in the street. When you buy something from a shop clerk. When you walk into a school in the morning. Do. Oh no, or anything, no, or anytime you make eye contact, an eye contact. Smile even when you're feeling low. Um, that's like really hard to do because when you're feeling low, you always have no facial expression. Like I always, like if I feel down or if you feel like very bored, I never smile. Like I think all of you guys don't, I, I think all of you guys do that too, where it's just when you feel down, when you feel like you have no energy, when you feel like you can't walk or eat. You, you just don't smile like no one smiles when they feel low like no one is like I like want to die now but like I'm just gonna smile first before I die so then I look like a very open casual person so cool if you're in a bad mood and don't want to listen to people try listening to music which is what I always do 
uh, drawing or something else you enjoy. This can prevent you from acting harshly towards people or being rude, even if you don't want to be. Oh, these are really long. And I kind of have like a 15 minute video because like, do you know what fucking happens? I told you before. Fill your days with small acts of kindness. Those little everyday things like holding the door for your teacher you don't know, uh, smiling at someone who isn't always nice to you, uh, they may not seem to matter much, but in the long run, those acts of kindness will make you seem like a much nicer person. I don't do, I don't hold the teacher, no, <laughs> I don't smile at people that I don't like because I always, I tend to do like a very like normal, like a bland, like a generic face to them. Like I just go like, like I don't see the reason why you need to smile at someone that you hate. Or I, I do this thing a lot in school. Um, I hold the teacher, no, I hold the door for the teacher I don't know. Majority of them I do know, but the people that I don't know are usually the people in like other people's classes that I don't know. Um, but I do say um, their names if I do know them, but if I don't know them, I just like smile and just walk away and act like nothing ever happened. But yeah, I don't get how it in the long run it would help me feel like a very nicer person. Okay, so that's basically it for my video today. Um, my battery ran out of battery. Um, so that's why I couldn't film like the last part. Like, it all got deleted for some reason. And before I end the video, um, my friend Aaron Martian, uh, <laughs> my friend Aaron Martin from school, um, asked me to get him, to give him a shout out and vice versa. So he's gonna give me a shout out in his video. Um, so yeah, please check him out. He has a lot of stuff on his channel. Um, he has like 34 something, no, like 30 something subscribers on his channel. So please subscribe if you haven't. Well, that's basically it for this video. Like, subscribe if you haven't. Comment down whatever you guys like. I love reading your guys' comments. Uh, is there anything else to say? Um, stay safe. Don't go out unless it's necessary. Wear your mask every day. Not indoors, but outdoor as well. Wear it indoors when going to like a shop or a mall, okay? So wear a mask during that. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Stay safe. I hope you guys are doing well. Keep healthy. I'm definitely not. Um, well, sometimes. And that's basically it. Stay safe, stay hungry. I mean, whatever that fucking means. Um, but yeah, like this video, you don't need to. But if you want to, you could go do that. But yeah, I need to hurry up because I need to run out of battery. No, I'm gonna run out. No.